Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Rolling Fishing. We're doing another truck camping video today, guys. Yeah, we're gonna try and do a catch, clean, and cook in the back of the truck. I love cooking in the back of the truck, camping in the back of the truck, traveling around, but I'm in Southwest Florida. We've been riddled with red tide. The plan is to try and get away from where red tide is, get back in the rivers, saltwater rivers and saltwater creeks that haven't been affected by red tide. But guys, I just wanna show you, I am in a very, very small public beach area okay i came down here to see if there were some barnacles and i want to show you just how bad our area is being affected by red tide i'm just going to start over here on this layer little area right here uh looks like we got a big lady fish we got a bunch of blowfish we got catfish there's a, a sheep's head oh god it smells disgusting down here there's a big jack right there there's a speckled or a spotted sea trout Sheep's head, sheep's head, sheep's head, sheep's head, sheep's head. More catfish. Big trout, guys. That was probably a 20, 21, 22 inch trout. And this one's gonna crush you guys. Look at that, a keeper gag grouper. Dead as dead gets right there. Big old speckled trout, pompano. Another big fish right there. Looks like another grouper. Yeah, it's disgusting. I'm really upset about it, but there's nothing I can do except find water that doesn't have red tide. So here's the plan, guys. We're gonna move on forward. I came down here actually to see if I could get some barnacles, but uh, I don't see any barnacles on these pilings and it smells so disgusting anyway. So I'm gonna go pick up some shrimp. I'm gonna try and get some barnacles. I've got an area where I know I could probably catch some sheep head, sheep's head if I can get some barnacles, but uh, they might hit shrimp, who knows. But anyway, guys, it's a truck camping adventure, so let's do it. All right, tough time getting barnacles. I stopped by the bait shop, picked up some shrimp, I'm headed, I've got about three places in mind that I want to fish. Oh, oh, dude, there's another, I probably already passed it. Uh, excuse me, there's another, <laughs> there's another public park area where I might be able to scrape some barnacles. Check that out. Bunch of barnacles in there. Got another good bunch there. I'm glad I thought about this little dock. Look at that big old hunky chunky barnacle. Oh my gosh. Sheep's head freaking candy, baby. Got a little bitty humpback bridge back in this neighborhood that I found about three weeks ago when I had some crabs. And I never posted the video because I didn't catch anything. I was trying to do a catch and cook truck camping video, but I lost three sheep's head on this little bitty bridge fishing on crabs. Perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go with the drop. Got the shrimp, so see if we can get a get them on a shrimp. That just looks really, really good right there where that that big branch fell in the water right there. There were so many bait fish around it, it really would not surprise me if there's a nice fish in there. Oh that was a good hit. That was a good hit. There he is. Yep, snappers snapper time we got snappers now we just need one big enough to eat a couple of them big enough to eat right all right nice little mangrove snapper 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 see you buddy there he is fish on snapper time story of my life little bitty guys this is why i picked up shrimp today see ya Hey, any, any second, second now we, we could catch, catch a big one. one. Oh, I got them going good now. It's every cast. I mean, it's been every cast ever since I started fishing here for snappers. Throw it a little bit further out. Let's see. A little deeper water. I don't know how big that branch is or how far out it goes. 
Yeah, there he is. Pretty big shrimp. Let him eat it for a little while. Ah, oh, missed him. They're tearing me up. There's hundreds of them down there. There we go. Snap her on. Snap her on. Will it be a keeper? He's close. And he's about nine inches. So close. Thanks. Nice. That one was close, guys. We might get a keeper out of here. It might cost us $20, but we might get a keeper. Seriously. Shrimp are like $6 a dozen. Missed him. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, big snook. Big snook. Look at the size of that snook right there. That snook should have never revealed himself. That was a that was a slot fish right there. That was a big snook, man. Came right up there, had a mullet in his mouth. He was just, oh, I thought somebody was fishing. <laughs> that was pretty cool right there. Been trying to catch pinfish because I saw that huge snook down there eating that mullet and I uh, haven't been able to catch pinfish. I'm not seeing any schools of mullet that I can throw the net on. Um, I'm catching a little mangrove snapper, but I'm pretty sure you can't use mangrove snapper for bait. They'd have to be 10 inches anyway, and even then I don't think it's legal to use a mangrove snapper for bait. Um, I saw a little snook over there, and I actually see him sitting right there on the edge of the mangroves right now. He's just poised. He's just kind of pointing out, looking this way. He turned. He chased my shrimp, but he, he wouldn't hit it. So <laughs> I've been here two hours, man grinding it out having a good time though man i thought i was gonna catch me some sheep's head doggone it thought i was gonna catch a keeper snapper i tried i was just cruising down this road found a little bitty bridge here these small bridges are holding fish you guys i walked up there i was looking down i looked down i'm like oh my god it's a big snook it wasn't a snook there's some big mullet in here so i'm gonna get my cast net see if we can get us some mullet for dinner these are monster mullet down there. It's a really small space down here where these mullet are at. I don't, I don't know if I can get a good throw on them. We'll see. We may end up with a bunch of sticks, but can't get them if we don't try, right? Remember a pastor years ago was given a sermon. He said, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. I don't think I got them. There were like three big ones that came through. Dude, they, they definitely got red tide in this area. Been about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I haven't seen them. I've been here for about an hour zero hits i don't know guys said they were catching some catfish and some very small whiting so i'm gonna head over to a different part of the river and uh see if we can find something over there i'm getting hungry too i don't know what i'm gonna do about dinner if i don't catch some fish here all right i have made it to the river pier all this structure out here you'd think there'd be some fish somewhere Maybe we can find some snappers. <laughs> Nothing serious out here on the pier. This really stinks. I've spent about five hours fishing today, uh, several different places. And uh, yeah, 25 bucks in shrimp or whatever. And yeah, all I caught was like three or four mangrove snapper. I still got a few shrimp in the bucket, so I think I'm going to take a break, go get something for dinner, cook it up in the truck, maybe come back out here after the sun goes down and the street lights come on, and uh, we'll see if we can catch some ladyfish, drop some ladyfish down for some snook or something. So let's go get something to eat. Well, all 
right, well, here's the deal, you guys. I am cooking up something special. I haven't cooked this in a long time. It's a very simple dish, and it's absolutely delicious. And it doesn't cost much money, so let's get to it. Woo, those barnacles stink. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize those things smelled so bad. I wonder if they died. It's probably one of the best buys I'll have all year right here. Definitely a good deal. Doesn't take any time at all to put it together. The last video I showed it in in fast motion. I've put so much work into this camping adventure and I haven't even caught a decent fish yet, man. If you're thinking about starting a fishing YouTube channel, you better think twice. <laughs> you, you're gonna be working for like less than five cents an hour for a long time. I went and I bought a bunch of groceries again. I didn't bring anything with me to eat from the house. Let me get organized here. This little cooler. So I bring two coolers with me. This one is for food and drink, and this one is for whatever I catch. I put my fish in there, which unfortunately we didn't catch anything today, all right? Okay, close that up. Here, we're gonna be cooking with some imitation crab tonight. I didn't add any salt to the water. I really like this cast iron skillet. It heats up fast. Tell you what guys, before I cooked dinner, I literally sat in my truck for about 20 minutes contemplating, should I just take all this video footage and just throw it in the trash can? Because I fished hard today and I really did not catch any decent fish, right? But it's all about the adventure. I mean, I set out to do truck camping, and so I'm going to do a truck camping video. I set out, I wanted to cook in the back of the truck, and even though I didn't catch fish, we're having seafood tonight, right? But it was a tough decision for me to make. Now, I am going to go fishing after dinner. We're going to go back out to the river, um, try and catch a ladyfish, drop it down on the big rod, and I think Julio might come out and meet us. Um, he doesn't live far from here, so... We'll see how that goes. But that's the plan. We're gonna go fishing in the morning. We're gonna we're gonna sleep in the truck tonight. In the morning, we're gonna get up, we're gonna cook some breakfast, and I've got a place I wanna go fishing in the morning. So yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna stick with the plan, but I almost canceled it all. I was so disappointed that I didn't catch any fish as hard as I fished today. Now, what I'd do with this recipe if I was at home, I would cook these noodles. And I would put them in the refrigerator and chill them down really good, but I don't have time to do that tonight, so I'm actually gonna be eating this dish warm, which it'll be delicious, but if you make it at home, make make sure that you just eat it cold. It's kind of like a cold pasta salad, and uh, oh, it's absolutely delicious. It's gonna be good tonight too, so. Oh yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? If you like imitation crab, it's looking good. We got one more ingredient we're going to add and then we're going to eat. Ranch dressing. This is the magic right here. Hidden Valley. So, years ago, guys, there was a girl that liked me. And uh, I didn't even realize that she liked me. She invited me over to her house to play games with her and a couple other people. And she made this pasta salad. I mean, this is like 15 years ago. And when I saw it, I thought, oh, that doesn't really look all that good. Dude, when I bit into it, I was like, holy smokes, I couldn't stop eating this stuff. It was so good. So, definitely try it. 
Don't knock it till you try it. Kind of like the spam thing. Simple dish. Add a little, little ranch. That was really good. Fishing out on the pier today. Somebody told me about a place where they, they were catching sheep's head. This morning. So, even with the red tide in that area, they're still catching sheep's head over there. So, we're going to head over there tomorrow. All right, so here's the bad thing. The light on the end of the pier is out. That's where I was catching the ladyfish last time. So maybe, maybe we can get them here. We'll try it. Nice right, to man. see you, bro. Yeah. All right, man. See ya. We've been out here an hour and a half trying to catch ladyfish. <laughs> Haven't caught any ladyfish. Hooked up with a couple. So I'm just free lining a shrimp now along the shadow lines. Oh, I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy. Hey, the thing is, I'm out here truck camping, right? So I may as well just go ahead and stay out here and fish. I still got some live shrimp. So I'm actually back over here at that pier that I was at earlier. We up here on the bridge. Let's see if we can get a snook. I think looks like all my shrimp are dead, guys maybe that one's a little bit alive well it is midnight i haven't caught any decent fish i fished from two o'clock until 11 45. just pulled up to the 7-eleven here got me some uh milano double chocolates love these things dark chocolate's supposed to be healthy for you long as you don't overdo it right little midnight snack before I find a place to camp tonight <laughs> all right guys here I am I have all tucked in ready for bed it's been about an hour and a half hey Siri what time is it it's 1 29 a.m. yeah it's almost 1 30 you guys and uh, last time I had the camera on was at 12 o'clock so it took me a while to find a place to to park um i'm comfortable with where i'm at should be plenty quiet for me to good get a good night's sleep i don't think anybody's gonna bother with mess with me here i am so tired guys 12 hours like going i fished for a good 11 hours today and didn't catch anything to speak of right so the goal is to do truck camping okay so here we are i was hoping to have catch clean and cook and catch some fish and all that but we've cooked out of the truck we're doing some truck camping and uh, i'm all cleaned up yeah i changed clothes brushed my teeth getting ready for bed here and uh took me a while to find a place to park that i was comfortable with there were some other places but they were right by busy streets and i'm just like you know what i want to get a good night's sleep tonight and uh, so hopefully i'll be able to do that in this spot now tomorrow i don't know if we're gonna fish or not okay we'll just have to see how i feel in the morning i did get a report when i was out fishing today that uh, there's a place that people were catching sheep said but there's red tide there so i don't know do we just go there buy some shrimp and give it a try maybe we will but i am looking forward to cooking breakfast in the morning definitely i'm looking forward to kicking back right here turning these lights off watching a few youtube videos and going to sleep because i have had a very very full and busy day so i will see you guys in just a little while when it's morning time Good morning, Rad Reelers. Yeah. <laughs> the sun has been up for about an hour. Oh, I slept really good in this spot. It was quiet. Very quiet. You know, once I fell asleep, I was out. I was tired, man. It was late. Oh. All right. 
I literally just woke up. I gotta get some socks on, some shoes, get out of this area, and get somewhere where I can cook some breakfast. I don't want to call attention to myself where I'm at, so. Alright, that's the plan. See you guys in a little while. Yep, my uh, EB55 power bank we're going to make some coffee with this morning. one watts that little bitty appliance I'm just gonna sit right here make myself comfy we got us some 25% less sodium spam I just tasted this I remembered what it tastes like Vienna sausages when I was a kid we go out on the boat and my parents would get Vienna sausages. <laughs> That's what this stuff tastes like. Crystal hot sauce. Hey, if I had some sour cream, I'd put some sour cream on it, but that's what's for breakfast. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Nice. Cheesy spammy eggs. Low sodium spam, definitely the way to go. Guys, I can't believe for all my life I was missing out on spam. Absolutely delicious. Take a walk on the wild side, see what it's like. It's a gorgeous day out here. There's a Skyway bridge over there. It doesn't smell bad here. There's not red tide in the air in this spot, so. Oh, dude, big sheep's head right there. We got sheep's head here, man. Quite a few of them. I can see them on the pilings. And get us some crabs, we might catch a few. I'm just standing around talking. I can't catch any sheep's head. They will not eat these shrimp. They don't want to have anything to do with it. These guys over here came up here with sand fleas. Same spot I'm fishing with shrimp. They started catching them with sand fleas. So, you know, I knew it. I mean, I was looking for crabs. I need to find a place to scrape some barnacles or something. But I'm going to drop some shrimp down there again. See if we can get them to hit. <laughs> we had eight of them yesterday in one little scoop. And we're like, oh, oh wow, cool. we are living. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Help yourself, dude. When they're yeah. gone, they're gone. It ain't no big thing. All right. Well. Sure. And it's right on the beach. Yeah, and so we're in our. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Awesome. Oh, they love the sand fleas. Am I recording? I am. Look at that. Oh, he's big enough to eat. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's the biggest one we've seen. That is a big one. Holy. Look at that. Sand fleas. Or the ticket, just don't come off, big guy. Wow. Wow. That's a sheep's head. Sheep's head? Yeah. Oh, that is a nice one. Woo! 
All right. Thanks. You guys are so nice. Awesome. You Minnesota nice. All right. Dude, that's enough to cook for lunch right there. <laughs> Heck yeah. Sand fleas are the ticket, baby. It only took me two days, but look at that. They aren't touching the shrimp. They just like, they don't want to have anything to do with it. Hey guys, this is, this is Tom. He's from Ohio, right? Minnesota. From Minnesota. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's the one that, he said he's watched my videos before, but they had yep. some sand fleas. He saw I wasn't catching them. He was like, help yourself <laughs> to some sand fleas. So I appreciate it. I Anytime, really, man. dude, I've it's been fishing, fishing hard for like a day and a half. Yeah. That's the best fish I've caught. So that's awesome. Nice. Good for you. All right. Nice work, dude. Yeah. Yeah. My friend's from Missouri. My friend's from Missouri said I could have another sand flea. Minnesota. <laughs> oh, Minnesota. I got to get it right. Yeah, Minnes yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> I said Ohio, Missouri, Minnesota. I'll get it. I'll get it right. Oh, I got them on shrimp. Look at that. I put on two shrimp heads. Oh, two. But maybe they're just, maybe they're really hungry now. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to make it look like a little crab or something. All right, guys. Look at that. We got us a little little right. bitty sheep. Sheep. Is that guy too small? Yeah. Okay. They're so cute, Lo. <laughs> yeah, they are. I like catching the little ones. All right. Nice. The Rad Seafood Shack is open for business. All right, guys. Let's get our sheepy sheepy cleaned up here. My plan is to kind of just clean this guy on top of the garbage bag and then be able to just pull the garbage bag off of the cutting board and wrap it up. I have never ever done this, but this is a little truck camping hack apparently that I just came up with. And look at that. My cutting board is, is very, very clean. And uh, my sheep's head are probably gonna taste like fragrance garbage bag <laughs> no these are non fragrance all right cool that's gonna work i'm gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up with some of this goya seasoning saison goya seasoning this stuff is so good let them just marinate in that seasoning for a little while while i get out the rest of the goodies oh this one's already open okay that'll work so guys, one of the coolest things about truck camping is the challenge, right? It's the challenge of trying to find a place where you can cook your meal. It's the challenge of trying to keep everything organized and uh, yeah, while you're like living out of the back of your truck. And also it's the challenge of finding a place to sleep overnight. I mean, it's a lot easier, right? If you just go and you rent a campsite, but if you're not renting a campsite and you have to drive around and find a place that's like peaceful and in quiet and a safe place, um, it, it's a challenge. It's hard to explain. It's kind of exhilarating. It's like, it, it's suspenseful. It's like, you're, you're like on the edge, like you're a little bit nervous. Like, okay, is this place gonna be safe? Is it not gonna be safe? Like last night when I was going around looking for a place to sleep, I mean, there were two or three places. I'm like, no, 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 no. I mean, some of the people that I saw around in that area, I'm like, nope, this is not a safe place for me to be. And uh, so eventually I drove around and I found a, a nice, peaceful, restful, uh, safe place, a public parking area. And uh, yeah, I was good to go. I need to get me one of those big spoons that's got the holes in it. Hopefully they don't stick to the pan. I've got a good good hot sizzle going on with that olive oil. Let's kill the heat. Oh yeah. That's looking good. Looking delish. Little crispy piece. 
Mmm. Oh, that Saison is good, man. I had a great time making this adventure, and a thumbs up or appreciate it. Everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya! Subscribe, or I'll send this guy out to your next fishing adventure.